Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of the Wind Waker HD. So now, let's figure out where we need to go. Now that we have all the pearls, we can actually go to these three spots marked on the map to continue with the main story, which I think I'm going to do. There's a few things I can think of inside questing that we could do, but I want to hold off on that till we have more stuff, basically. So... Let's probably head over to this island over here, or possibly this island over here where we missed the the treasure on True Chart 1, so... Um... Seems like a good angle. Let me just change the wind. Because that'll be very useful. So that way. And let's get on our way. I need to get more bombs because I used up all of them. It's a shame, really, but it's okay. We will we'll get more. We will get even more than we need, so. <laughs> but yeah, we've, uh... We've not done a ton of the map, apparently. And even on the islands that we have visited, there's still stuff to do. On some of them. So. There's a, there's a lot to do. Now. I. Okay I'm very far away from where I need to be. Uh, let's see what this island look like, looks like. Because I don't know what it is. From over here. Actually I might know what it is. I, I think I know exactly what it is. We can't do anything there. Uh, but I can get the map for it, at the very least. Since we need to do that at every island still. Oh my goodness, tornado. Stay away from that. Life advice, stay away from a tornado. Fishes on the other side of the island. Oh wow, that's a lot of glowing spots. That's a lot of glowing spots. I'm kind of tempted to get rupees from that. I'm kind of tempted. I mean, they're right there, so... Just need to slow right down on top of them. I don't even need to get all of them, I could just get a couple of them, so... Salvage. But yeah, each knight has a different island that has... a ring of glowing spots like this, so... That can be pretty good, if you just get lucky on which island it is. Nope. I don't know how I got that one. I can't see the spots because I'm right next to them. But I somehow got- that's this one, so... You can kind of hear when you're right on top of one, so... That helps. Another purple rupee. This seems a good spot. Nope, not quite. I can also switch side of the boat to salvage on. I don't know if that changes much though. I guess it would a little bit. I think I passed it possibly. I could also sail away a little bit. So I can actually see them again and then figure out where I need to be like that. Which probably works a lot better. I'm guessing this is another purple rupee, Consider c c c uh, considering the pattern. Yep. Well, I guess I don't need to grind here for too much time. But I'm gonna get this one more if I can. Oh my goodness, perfect. Cool, so that's just an extra 200 rupees into my pocket. That'll be extremely useful. Now, where's the fish? I know it was on this side of the island last time I saw it. Is that it over there? Oh my goodness, I need to stay away from that tornado. Easier said than done, apparently. The wind's kind of pulling us in a little bit. 
But anyway, let's get this map. You just ate all that bait. You're so greedy. Poor small fry. Okay, we have... Shark Island. That's shaped like a shark, I guess. Tell me, Small Fry, have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? The wind deity Cyclos uses the cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously, or so I've heard. Could ju be just a rumor. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time. Wouldn't that be nice, Fry? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up his power easily. You can't get near the guy, so you'll have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. Don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know, pwing, or pwip, pwip. I tell you, you get my point, Fry. And that's all the- I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but okay. I will keep that in mind, maybe. Now, which way am I going? The wrong way. Hang on. Let me figure out- I guess I should follow the wind. That's a pretty good way to figure out where I'm going. It's also this island over here that I might check out. Just to see if I can do anything there, but I don't know if I can. Not at this point, at the very least. Ah, uh, that- that opening... That opening theme, the day- the day starting, it's just a classic. It's just a classic. But anyway, I also want to point out that the sun and the moon are opposite sides of each other, which means that they're... Question mark, question mark, question mark, going around... The Earth? In this world? Which is an interesting thing to keep in mind. Can I please? Thank you, I need a bomb. Also, there's another one of these chews here, which I might make- Oh, I guess he just drops it, right? I'm assuming so. Yeah, another one of the blue chews. But anyway, there's also the leaves on the ground that we can use the- What's it called? Deku leaf for. Uh, but anyway, let's blow this thing up here. Ah! <laughs> there it goes, right in the hole. Let me place that down instead of throwing it, because that's what I was trying to do. And let's go in. Because this is another great fairy fountain. He's so small. And now it's got four arms, for some reason. Young Waker of, wind of the Winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. We can now carry more bombs. Now you can bring a maximum of 60 with you wherever you go. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weir weariness when you grow fatigued from your battles. Come here to be refreshed. So there we go. And now I- hang on, I have to. I legally have to just grab as many of these for no reason as possible just to have them swirl around me. I have to. But yeah, I- I purposefully didn't get the- the map for the island. As soon as we came here. Because it kind of gives it all away. Which I should probably do that now, if I can figure out where the fish is. There it is. I can probably cruise faster than I can sail right now going over this way. Yeah. 
pretty much. But anyway, let's do that. So greedy! Hoi, small fry. Southern Fairy Island. Shaped like an upside down heart. Listen up, small fry. This is just between you and me. On outside island, buried beneath the black... Uh, the, the... The black soil. There's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. What? You haven't got anything to dig with? I'd say use try using an animal. Or something. Work smarter, not harder, small fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. Can't w work on an empty stomach. Sure. You're so greedy. And probably can't find any other food a at all for some reason. But anyway, let's head over this way. I think I could see the island I was heading to before. Maybe I'm wrong. Should be right in front of me, right? Somewhat. My eyes playing tricks on me. What can I actually see? Okay, I can actually see it. Okay. Also, our bomb bag is just full at the moment with 60 bombs because of going to do that. So that was a good choice. But now we have to deal with the, these sea hats as we get to try to get to this island. And they are scary. Ah. Sea hat, sea hat, sea hat, sea hat. Oh no, sail, just sail, just sail, just sail, just sail. Just sail. I can also get the fish one here, probably. But since I'm at the island, I might as well get out and do that. Get away. Swim, Link. Go. Okay. So, we have a little statue up here. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddess is place your the pearl you hold here. You place Nairu's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain. Cool. That's- that's all we have to do on this island. And that's all we will ever have to do on this island. <laughs> so cool, we've checked off part of the world. Ah! Uh, I need- I need to get out of here. Where's the fish? There. Quick fish, save me! <laughs> Here's some food before we all become food. Boy, small fry. A frame, a famed pictographer lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He is apparently real wise and talented in the ways of pic pictography. Yeah, I don't know. He's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe. Or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, fry. But anyway, ah, sea hat. Let's head on uh, in a different direction. Probably to that island over there. I need to change the wind direction. Just give me a second, guys. Need to change the wind direction. Uh, east. There we go. I'm sure the sea hat doesn't mind. It's fine. Just keep sailing. Just keep sailing. Okay, we have made it away 
from that horrible, horrible place. Let's get this treasure and then probably head over to um, the island up here for the next part of the thing, the next pearl. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's so nice sailing. It's just so nice. A bit slow though. Okay. Stop. And salvage. You can also see yourself on the treasure chart when you're close enough to a treasure. Got a silver rupee, that's a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. It's a good thing that can fit in my wallet. Because I already got the other 200 rupees, but I guess I did get the wallet upgrade, I believe. I'm pretty sure I did. I can't actually remember if I did or not. It's not gonna tell me. Cool. Well, anyway. Let's head up to the north east. Actually, I think that island right there in front of me is where I need to go, so I could probably just leave the wind as it is. And just sail. Pretty much. Also, I'm going to get out some more bait. Uh, but once the trade chart is done, it will have a tick on it, and it'll have the circle around the X on the chart itself, so. And that's all we have available to us in trade charts, basically. For now. Depends on how far out of my way I want to go. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. There's a ship there. And not just any ship. I'm actually kind of surprised to see that. Also, I think I went to the wrong spot, but that's okay. It's the ghost ship. Which will appear randomly at an island around the world each day. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I managed to find it just by random chance. We can't do anything with it because it's a ghost ship and it appears and disappears, but still. I might also get this fish if I can find it. There, there it is. So let's equip that. And do that. There are only certain islands that the ghost ship will appear at. But still. Same with the uh, Rings of Light circle. That we found earlier. There's only certain islands that they will appear at. Bomb Island. Shaped like a bomb, of course. You ought to come sail these seas on nights when the, the, the right half of the moon is missing. It will give you shivers, Fry. And I'm assuming that means he's talking about the, the ghost ship being here. When the moon is half missing. Cool. Well, anyway. Let's get back on track and I think I need to go north, so. Let's change the wind to north. And let's get back on track. I was not expecting to see the ghost ship this early. I didn't know you could see it this early. Okay. Do I have the map here? No, I don't. Need to get that then. Thank you, Rain. 
More rain in video games, please. I need it. I really love the rain in this video game. Hoi, small fry. It's just so good. Just rain. Give me more rain, please. So, so more, much rain. Anyway, Eastern Triangle Island. I think the last one we went to was Southern Triangle Island, probably. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think that you've finally met your match, if you've got a fairy with you, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, fry? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. That's all the info he's got to offer. Cool. But anyway, there's also a, a small ship there, boat, I don't know. We might want to talk to the people on it. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. You place Faroz Pearl in the ancient statue's hands. One pearl remains. Okay then. Let's get aboard and let's talk to these people over here. Also, we can see another fairy island over that way, since they all look the same. Which we might need to check out. Hang on, don't. Get out of the boat. Get back in, please. Now, let's talk to you. Yeah! Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for the treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? <laughs> ha ha ha! You won't get any from us, bub, not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who've never, who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nah. Just grab it. And so we get a trade chart from them. I'm pretty sure you can talk to them wherever you find them, but still. First, open your map on the Wii U gamepad, and then compare the island charts on the right with the trade charts on the left to see where the treasure lies. If you press pl plus to pause your game, you can take your sweet time pouring over the charts. After all, haste makes waste. Then you just use your grappling hook while you're in, in your boat to haul up treasure. Just press uh, right on the d-pad, easy as you like. Yeah, those grappling hooks, nothing pulls up stuff like those things. Well, little treasure buddy, good luck to all of us. Happy hunting. Bye. Cool, so we got another, another treasure chart. Let me check that. Number 34. Hey! It's for this island. That's convenient. I can't see it, but I can use my my pause map screen to figure it out. Also, the sound of it just blasting into my ear. I don't know if it's always for this island or if it's just that I'm really lucky. Or maybe there's more on the different islands, and they're gonna give me those as well. I don't know, but I got a silver rupee, so that's pretty good. Can I, I, I can still hold it, apparently. Um, let's see. We need to go 
Over that way, probably. We can get that fairy island, maybe, if we can actually open it. Which is the real... Always the problem with the fairy islands is you don't know if you can use them... ...without the proper equipment. But still, we should be able to do this one, I'm pretty sure. Is that another one over there? What is this? There's just so many. <laughs> I'm just losing my mind right now at how many... ...fairy islands there are. Ah, uh, but anyway, let me get rid of that. And let's sail on. Maybe I didn't get a wallet upgrade. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. There's no nothing visible on the item screen that's telling me that I have a wallet upgrade as well. But, I mean, the rupee next to my rupees is blue now, so I'm pretty sure I got an upgrade. And they're also four digits, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got more space now. I should be good. Should be. <laughs> but I never know. I think I can actually get this fairy armed. Also, the post box is dancing. Way small fry. Eastern Ferry Island. Which looks like a heart, but at the wrong angle. Word is, they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Every night the people gather in the hole of wealth to amuse themselves by spending... A little money. Ah, the rich. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid to the highest, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning an auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they get some great things up on the auction block too. Like an extra fast sale, among other things. Maybe that's just a rumor. You should try it out, small Fry. You might just like it. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait. But an extra fast sale... Now I have to do some stuff at Windfall at some point. Probably not right away though. But still. I, I need to go there as soon as possible, but also not quite as soon as possible. Good evening, Letters for Link. We have one. Here is your letter. How are you doing, Link? Do you have enough of Granny's soup? Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? Do you always work so hard, Link? Do you have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm send sending you everything I've saved up. Uh, I'm sorry about the rupee under the house. I kind of stole that. It's fine. As long as I have you and Errol, I don't need anything else. I just want the two of you to return home safely. Love, Grandma. A red rupee. That's everything you had. I'm sorry, Grandma. I'm sorry. Um, can I not? Please, please. Okay, it's fine. I'm just struggling right now with the item screen. Uh, let's get out a bomb. So we can blow up this rock. There's also another one of the withered, withered trees here. Which we need to keep, keep in mind. And another great fairy, of course. You can now carry more bombs! Carry a maximum of 99 with you wherever you go! Oh my goodness! We can carry so many bombs now! We just unlocked them! And now we can carry 99. 
I can't be the only one that just does this with the fairies. We can carry 99 bombs now. That's crazy to me. It's absolute madness to me. <laughs> anyway, where's my boat? There. Could also possibly do a few more things at uh, out or the lookout. So now I need to go that way. No, not quite. More that way. But anyway, I think that's also it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.